that. We are talking Wagtail Orbital. Window cleaning resource, the Window Cleanse, Wagtail series coming at you. Let's go. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. So I want to show you how this handle and the pivoting uh, action is very similar to the flipper. Now, this yellow disc signifies that it's an older model. It's an older model. Just put that here for now. And there are some significant differences as the orbital has progressed. This, uh, this green disc, bluish green disc, is the newer. This is the flipper, this is the orbital, and you can see the differences slimline versus aluminum. They're both aluminum, but this has the, uh, the, the wings on it. But you'll notice that the handle is pop riveted here. It's not screwed on, whereas this one is held on by a screw. Okay, and the action is the same on these. Um, the handle is mounted on the bottom on both of them. But what I have here is another aluminum. It's got the wings on it. But notice the difference in handles. So now it's mounted on the top as opposed to the bottom. And this is held on by a uh, screw. There's a screw on the bottom there. This little black triangle is just to help you tighten the nut if you need to. But that's the important thing is that you can get even better closeouts with this, with the handle mounted on the top. And you can see that I need to tighten that just a little bit. Okay, so let's test this in hand, pad underneath. And you may be asking yourself, so what is the difference between this, this particular model uh, and the flipper, the slimline squeegee? Well, it's basically just these two flanges um, allow you put these clips on without the extra plastic clips. And this flange here allows you, when you have the pad underneath, <sighs> makes it so that when you close out, the pad doesn't get crunched underneath the squeegee. Would I say that the, the clip system is ideal? No, but... Uh, Neither is the, is the accelerator's clip system either. So you just gotta work, learn to work with what you have. So as we go up here, and this has the same smooth action, and you're gonna find that with the, um, the models that have the handle mounted on the top too. Just really smooth action. I tend to hold it up near the top. Gives me a little bit more control. that close out you can actually get this to flatten out and get your rubber right in the edge so let's get a close-up of that so I got the wagtail orbital here the aluminum extruded with the flanges I'm gonna put my clips I'm gonna put my pad on over the top and let's see how this performs on the high pole work. Okay, and just one final thing that we want to talk about with the orbital is that you can turn it into a combi. 
And so the way to do this is I have a 14 inch right here and you're gonna need a clip system that has the Velcro strip across, across it. You're gonna point it, uh, clip it on so that it's pointing outward towards the window. And then you're gonna attach your pad. Now, this is an older pad that I have, so it's a little stretched out, but does the trick. And that's how uh, you turn it into a one-pass tool. Okay. And with any one pass tool, whether it's the um, Precision Glide or the Combi, the position of the pad is very important in relation to the edge of the rubber. So the closer this edge is to this edge, the less you'll have to tilt to switch from scrub to squeegee. The lower you go, Like this, uh, you may not even, you, you're gonna have to tilt that handle, say this is the window, you're gonna have to tilt that handle way close to the window to get your scrubbing action because as you uh, come up like that it will pull away from the window. Okay so you also want to use the angle arm, the wagtail angle arm, in conjunction with this. So put this about a quarter of an inch below. So I'm just gonna show you in hand how this works. And it actually works really nice. And you can just see, now these windows are covered in pollen. Not covered, but they have a dusting of pollen on them. And you can see that it just does a really nice job. You can do that either on the pole or in hand. Let's do it on the pole. So we'll use it with the angle arm. Just like that. And then we'll use it without the angle arm. And I'm gonna have to stand a little bit closer to the window. But you can see that I am, the pad is touching the window because you're getting that scrubbing action. You are getting water left to solution on the window as I move up. See that? Whereas if I just do the squeegee, you get much less. Okay. Bring it down. You want to do straight pulls? You can do straight pulls. Tap a little bit, tap, bring it down. So one other modification that I do to this tool is that I have two self-tapping screws that actually screw in to the clip and this prevents the clip from sliding down. I mean, that's going nowhere. And that'll stay right in place and you won't have to worry about the clips ever falling off. So that is the Wagtail Combi slash Orbital. I hope this has been helpful to you. It's been enjoyable to use this tool to get to know it a little bit better. And uh, I definitely am going to continue to use this in my arsenal. And I hope that it will serve you just as well. So for Window Cleaning Resource, I am Jordy from the Window Cleanse, wishing you a very good day. Go to shopwindowcleaningresource.com or windowcleaner.com if you want more information about these wagtail tools and you'll be able to find uh, that information under Wagtail. I'm Jordy from the Window Cleanse on behalf of Window Cleaning Resource. We want to thank you for spending a few minutes with us. Stay tuned for the next episode of Wagtail Series. Until then, we'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com on YouTube. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure to check back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you don't miss a video. And if a life without Jordy is unbearable, check out his YouTube channel at The Window Cleanse on YouTube.